Hello, I'm Get the Cans, and this is a video response that responds to one of my responses to a video by Darth Trail. Darth Trail had originally asked a question about a well-known quote that had allegedly been stated by one L. Ron Hubbard. The quote is, Writing for a penny a word is ridiculous. If a man really wants to make a million dollars, he would start his own religion. Darth Trail stated that he did not believe that this had been said by Hubbard, and continued on by giving examples of how irrelevant he believed the words to be when considering the origins of, modern, of the modern organization known as Scientology. He then asked members to respond to this question. What would the effect of such a quote have on Dianetics today? I responded some time later with a video stating in detail that the implications of such a quote reflect the intent of the science fiction writer when he had started the, orig the organization originally. I carefully analyzed Darth Trail's statements in his video, and countered them with my own in my own video, and backed them up with as much information citing as I could. He then responded to my response some time later. He expressed that he thought my argument was well worded, and that I had refuted his examples really well. He continued on by stating that although my argument was good, it was still based on the fact that the quote made by L. Ron Hubbard was entirely true. He read and cited a quote from the letter, uh, collect from the Collected Essays, Journalism, and Letters of George Orwell, Volume 1. He stated the information for, was from one of George Orwell's letters dated February 16, 1938, and then stated the quote, I always thought there might be a lot of cash in starting a new religion, and we'll talk it over sometime. He then stated that it was hard evidence, and that there was no more evidence to the truthfulness of whether or not L. Ron Hubbard had stated the quote, other than the, test, the presumed testimony of two people that had overheard him at the Science Fiction Writers' Convention. I had sent a message to him, to Darth Trail, and thanked him for his response, and for the sighting itself. I then started my searching. I started off by trying to find the original quote uh, given by Darth Trail, and, uh, and I found it online. The letter was originally addressed to one civil servant in Manchester named Alec Hewton Joyce from George Orwell, a.k.a. Eric Blair. The complete quote was, But I always thought there might be a lot of cash in starting a new religion, and we'll talk it over sometime. The statement was presumably made in the context of talking about another author's work, um, The Aryan Path, which has something, had something to do with theosophy. I'm assuming that there was some kind of joke intended uh, upon making that statement. The problem that I had seen was that I wasn't sure how such a statement could move from one author's mouth to another's. I investigated further. From my research, it seemed that the comment might maker might have been at the science fiction convention. I found no evidence of this. I did, however, find that Eric Blair and Hubbard had originally met and chatted amongst other friends. It was these other friends that had later been claimed to supposedly been claimed to have heard Hubbard saying the statement under question at the science fiction uh, convention. The truth is that Hubbard had never said anything exactly like it or any variants thereof. What had been said, however, was that he did often speak of religion and money. He had stated, in some variant form or another, that he was tired of being broke and that he wanted to be rich. This is understandable, since he was getting paid one cent per word. At one particular meeting, according to Harlan Ellison, someone had suggested that he had start his own religion because they were always big. He then stated that Hubbard had said that he was going to do it. There was a great deal more reading that I could have done, but they all had shown the same pattern of evidence. Hubbard did not make the exact statement that he would start his own religion. He was interested in money, however, and when the idea of starting a new religion was suggested to him, he agreed. His interests, Hubbard's interests, continuously suggested that his sole desire from the whole ordeal was to make a great deal of money. His intent was not the benevolent one that he or others had later claimed. His intent was to become rich, and from previous research that I have done, he did very well for himself until he was required to go into hiding for, where he stayed for the remainder of his life and eventually died. Final words? Although it is true that people can change the facts over time, as with this example, what doesn't change is the reality of what actually happened. Actions really do speak louder than words, and may last long after the echoes of those words finally fade 
into silence.